So uh, this is the same it uh, described by or described in detail what is happening in stage one involved disruption of ulnar component of the lateral collateral ligaments, and this can cause your posterolateral uh, rotatory instability. Stage two with continuous force disruption occur anteriorly and posteriorly along the incomplete posterolateral dislocation. That means it's just subluxing or hinging or perched, we call it. And stage three is when it completely dislocated. And remember, other than the capsule ligaments, the muscle also can disrupt and the medial side sometime uh, may not be completely gone. It may be just uh, <coughs> stretched. Having said this, uh, as uh, uh, beauty of science is that you always <coughs> keep on uh, keep on uh, questioning the current evidence, uh, and this has actually been questioned in last few year. This sequence of events and MRI has proven uh, that sometime uh, in, in in classical posterolateral dislocation, actually the injury might start medially. Uh, and, 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 and there's the few papers regarding that, that this sequence may not happen, which is classically described as a Hori circle. But from your exam point of view, this is very important. And this, this make us understand what are the structure going on. Or but there is a debate at the moment uh, about this sequence. Uh, and and there's some people believe that it actually other way around from medial to the lateral side. But we won't go into detail of that. Just, just that and, uh, uh, that debate has uh, has got some sense in it. So if you get a simple dislocation, how do you manage it? You all manage it. You have seen it in the clinics. You reduce it. And normally what you do is you put a, a back slab plaster for uh, one week, two week maximum, and you start mobilizing after that because this is quite a stable joint. It, it, it Once it is reduced, it's quite uh, uh, quite stable to get early mobilization. Normal practice is that don't immobilize the elbow for more than uh, two weeks because you can uh, cause stiffness. Uh, so be be sure that in a straightforward, simple dislocation uh, of the elbow, there's no need to immobilize it. Uh, some people uh, within a week can mobilize it, and some people can take uh, two weeks, but not more than that. But having said that, you have to always, uh, if, if you get a chance, the normal practice is pull it and put a back slab, but when you're doing next time, Try to make this habit of assessing the stability of the uh, of the uh, of the elbow joint when you after reduction. So the general recommendation is that normally this joint is unstable in full extension. So uh, that is quite common that if you flex it, it becomes stable, uh, and if you extend it, uh, normally beyond 30, 40 degree, a uh, lot of joint you can dislocate again uh, immediately. So there's no point worrying too much about if it is unstable beyond 30, 40 degree of uh, flexion. So most of joint can be unstable uh, in extension uh, and still they can be treated non-operatively with a, with a back slab or plaster in about 90 degree and then mobilize them early because the, uh, although the uh, most of the uh, ligaments are gone, but still there is a muscles uh, attached attach to dynamic stabilizer there, and the common flexor extensor may not rupture in every case, so they may uh, they they act like a good uh, compressive force and 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 they become stable. Uh, having said that, you will find occasional cases where elbow, even a simple elbow, is quite unstable. Uh, I have come across a few cases, especially high BMI people, very difficult to and sometimes um, reduce uh, these fract uh, not reduce they are easy to reduce but very difficult to maintain the reduction so uh, because they are very high bmi uh, and and even the simple trauma can cause a lot of soft tissue damage inside uh, they probably uh, damaged all their common flexor and common extensor and both medial and lateral side so they become quite unstable even in the flex position so uh, if 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 you can't keep an elbow stable in a flex position i have a patient who actually keep dislocating uh, in the clinic i i tried to reduce it 3 4 times kept in flexion took an x ray it felt inside i could feel the clunk uh, and, and and then put a plaster, get a check x-ray, inside the plaster back slab, it keep on dislocating. So th there can be instances where you can have a simple uh, elbow dislocation, which is unstable. In those cases, you have to think uh, what to do with those elbow dislocations. So uh, if it is stable, uh, just mobilize it uh, after two weeks. Uh, if it is very unstable, then think of 
either you can put an external fixator uh, in a flex position, uh, which will give it more stability than your back slab, and then uh, mobilize and see how they do once you take the external fixator out in about uh, two or three weeks. Or uh, nowadays, a lot of uh, enthusiastic uh, elbow surgeon uh, might decide that this is an unstable uh, joint and uh, they might think of doing something for the ligaments. And uh, I must tell you here, and this will be throughout this lecture, you need to remember this, out of the two ligaments, the medial and the, and the lateral side, it is the lateral side which most of the time you want to start repairing. Uh, so the, you remember that on the lateral side, I told you the most important ligament is your uh, ulnar uh, lateral ulnar uh, ligament. So the, that lateral ulnar collateral ligament, which is lateral side uh, inserting on the ulna, if you repair that, quite often you can get a significant uh, stability. So whatever instability later on, we talk about a uh, lot of uh, uh, complex fracture dislocation. In every case, you want to think of first ligament to repair is the lateral side. And if once you repair that, the elbow become quite stable, it, it, then you assess whether medial side re need repairing or not. So in a very unstable, uh, simple elbow dislocation, it may be that you will require your lateral uh, ulnar collateral ligament uh, repair. And if that is not working, then sometime very rarely plus minus your medial side repair. And even if the, those are not working, you are back to square one to put a put a hinge or a static uh, external fixator. So that's about the, uh, about the simple dislocation, that algorithm that how do you deal with simple uh, unstable uh, elbow. Are there any other elbow dislocation other than uh, posterolateral? Yes, so most of the time you will see either direct posterior or posterolateral dislocation. You will hardly see these all these diagram uh, you see in textbook, and they are hardly, they probably are a few case report and here, here and there. So uh, anterior dislocation is very rare. These divergent are hardly seen. You do see occasionally this uh, medial, this lateral uh, and posterior probably in a combination is, is, is what is the commonest posterolateral dislocation. This sometime you see this uh, dislocation where actually dislocation has gone immediately. And a lot of time uh, you see an elbow dislocation. You don't want you don't want even to know where it is gone medial and lateral. So make a habit and next time you 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 see elbow dislocation or if it's already been reduced by somebody else, just go back and see the pictures which side it was. If it is medial dislocation like this one where the ulna and radius has gone medially, then uh, 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 then sometime these are not as stable as your uh lateral side and if you reduce them and they feel unstable then you have to deal with them exactly same what you were dealing with uh, unstable posterior lateral uh, elbow dislocation which is if 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 in flexion they are still unstable then think first of uh, whether you need to just uh, carry on with non-operative treatment in form of a uh, hinge fixator or a static fixator, or you want to operate them, then think of first doing the lateral side and then see how the stability is. So like this in case, it was unstable medial side, it has been stabilized uh, uh, on the lateral side. See the lateral uh, anchor is there, so just uh, stabilize with that lateral ulnar collateral ligament. Mm -hmm. Has been uh, has been repaired and that give it good stability. So think of lateral and collateral ligament if you're thinking about uh, one ligament to repair.